Today we have some pretty heated races happening in the Florida primary. Yeah, the polls open at 7 o'clock this morning. 10 Tampa Bay's Aaron Parsegian has a look at the top races to watch. Good morning. There's a lot on the ballot today, but for this preview, let's focus on a few statewide races, specifically for Florida cabinet positions. It starts with perhaps the marquee race, this one for the Democratic nomination for governor, former Republican governor turned Democratic congressman, Charlie Crist going up against current Agriculture Commissioner Nikki Freed, the only statewide elected Democrat. The winner will take on Governor DeSantis in November. Now let's move to the only open position on the ballot this year, the race for State Agriculture Commissioner. It's open because, of course, incumbent Nikki Freed is running for governor. On the Democratic side, we've got three candidates, Naomi Blamer, J.R. Gaillot, and Ryan Morales. Now, Blamer and Morales say clean water initiatives are among top priorities. Gaio says helping the citrus industry get stronger. Now on the Republican side, we probably have the most well-known name in this race. That's Wilton Simpson, the Florida Senate president and farmer from the Spring Hill area. He's going up against James Shaw. Simpson has a laundry list of endorsements, including from former president Donald Trump. The next race to watch is the Democratic primary for attorney general. Three candidates, all with law backgrounds, Aramis Ayala, a former state attorney from the Orlando area, Jim Lewis, a former assistant state attorney and law professor, and Daniel Yulfelder. He's got a big following on social media and is famous for protesting Governor DeSantis' COVID policies by dressing like a grim reaper at crowded beaches during the height of the pandemic. The winner of this race will face incumbent AG Ashley Moody in November. Now be sure to stay with 10 Tampa Bay throughout the night on air and online as votes come rolling in. In studio, Aaron Parsegian, 10 Tampa Bay.